Live from WSLS, this is 10 News at 6, working for you. A military mother is finally getting help for her veteran son. That's an added bonus here on Thanksgiving Day. It really is. Why she never gave up in her journey to get her son's health needs taken care of. A restaurant and a church giving first responders a Thanksgiving dinner. Well, it means a lot. It means that someone appreciates the fact that we are here. Why volunteers make this feast a yearly priority. Happy Thanksgiving and thanks for joining us for 10 News at 6. I'm Brittany McGraw. And I'm McKinley Strother. John Carlin is enjoying this holiday off. The Virginia NAACP is weighing in on the guilty verdicts in the Ahmaud Arbery murder trial. Executive Director Daquan Love says the guilty verdicts represent the legal system holding all three defendants accountable for the 25-year-old's death. He believes this case is just the latest example of how the country must re-examine the role race can play in everyday things from public encounters to the legal system. We were not sure how that verdict would go. This verdict was a collective result of organizing um, by Georgia uh, individuals and making sure that the criminal justice system finally held uh, Ahmaud Arbery's killers accountable. As with the three defendants in the Arbery trial, legal, legal expert Steve Benjamin says wrongful citizens arrest could also lead to a life sentence in the state of Virginia. Turning now to your forecast, you may want to bundle up if you are shopping on Black Friday, bright and early. Some of those stores open at 5 a.m. That is yeah. really early. <laughs> I'll be there. You'll I'll be, be out there. Are you going, to, like, are you going out? I'm ready. Well, so do we need a jacket? Oh, is it yes. going to be really cold? Well, for tomorrow, our high temperature is going to be at midnight. We're getting colder from there. So, yes, grab okay. your jacket. For this evening, our temperatures have been slow to drop. A big reason for that because of the cloud cover. Now, for some of us, we're, uh, have, we have yet to see some of that cloud cover move in. So your temperatures will drop a little faster than others. But here in Roanoke, we're still at 62 degrees. Now, our wind a little bit breezier this evening than they have been throughout the day coming in from the west and southwest at about nine miles per hour. Those will eventually shift though to come in from the northwest, certainly bringing us some colder Canadian air. But for right now, we are ranging from the upper 40s back towards Lewisburg to the low 60s here in Roanoke, that warmer spot. 55 for Blacksburg and 54 over in Danville. Temperatures, as I mentioned, are going to be faster to drop in some areas versus others. Either way, by 9 p.m., we're already in to the lower 90s, slowing down from there, especially as we start to bring in some of the rain out ahead of our cold front. We're going to take a little bit closer look at the timing of that rain system and again, a closer look at what you can expect for Black Friday coming up. Brittany. Thanksgiving Day in Roanoke kicked off with the drumstick dash. It was a cold morning, but this year's race brought tons of excitement because it was back in person. There were plenty of people lining the streets cheering on the runners. Some were even dressed up for the occasion in their best turkey costume. This year's dash was supposed to be downtown but was moved to the Greenway, but most runners didn't seem to mind that last minute change. Um, well, I actually run here every Sunday, so it's actually my normal trail run that I do every Sunday. We adapt, we're runners, and we're out and back course on Wasina there. We run that on a regular basis. Everybody wants to do something at this time of year. Everybody is thankful. Everybody wants to do something, and they go, what can I do? And this is the thing to do now. Even though there were changes, the mission of the dash remained the same. All of the proceeds go to helping the rescue mission provide a hot meal for those in need. Thousands of runners, walkers, and gobblers returned to the streets of Lynchburg this morning for the annual turkey trot. That tradition was back in person this year after the 2020 race was virtual due to COVID-19. Proceeds from the event go to Humankind. Every registration fee helps the nonprofit feed two families. Organizers say safety was a priority following the recent incident in Wisconsin where a man drove through a Christmas parade. We work really closely with the city of Lynchburg and all of our partners and our volunteers to make sure our course was safe. Um, just making sure that we're taking in everybody's safety and risk into account and we wanted everyone to have a great day today. We're told they're still counting those donations, but this year's a record for contributions. Despite capping the number of participants to 2,500 due to supply chain issues with race t-shirts, bibs, and those medals as well. 
While many people are enjoying a hot meal with their loved ones today, hundreds of first responders are sacrificing their Thanksgiving dinner with family. 10 News reporter Alexis Davila tells us how their huge feast is commemorating 18 years of giving back to first responders in the Roanoke Valley. Lining up behind Wildwood Smokehouse, dozens of volunteers open their trunks to deliver food to first responders. When they have to be away from their families on Thanksgiving Day, it gives them an opportunity to be able to celebrate and enjoy a good meal. Fellowship Community Church volunteers packed bread as the owners of the barbecue restaurant rolled out the main course. Wildwood Smokehouse had to prepare a huge feast. I'm talking about nearly 30 turkeys, 40 quarts each of green beans, mac and cheese, potato salad, all to feed 700 first responders. It's a tradition the church started 18 years ago called Operation Turkey Drop. But for the past 11 years, the restaurant owners have made the kind gesture their yearly priority. They're the ones keeping us safe, especially on days like today with families in town and a bunch of um, traffic and you know everybody doing their part. So we thought this was our part to give back to them. Thank you. Cave Spring Volunteer Fire Department was one of the 38 locations that received a box of goodies. Captain Brandon Shepard says it's an act of kindness they don't ever see. Well, it means a lot. It means that someone appreciates the fact that we are here and that we're taking time away from our families. The restaurant also made 500 sandwiches to hand out to dispatchers, health care workers, and rescue workers this week. In Roanoke, Alexis Davila, 10 News, working for you. For this family, spending the holiday together means everything. Why the service member is enjoying every second of this special homecoming. Plus preparing hundreds of meals in the Hill City while one volunteer could not wait to help out this Thanksgiving giveaway. I'm thankful uh, first for the Lord and for his uh, graciousness to me to give me the opportunity to serve the citizens of Lynchburg as sheriff. What am I thankful for is Bedford County, the men and women that work beside me, and, and all of the citizens in Bedford County. Have a question about current events, new laws? We can help. Just ask 10. It's easy. Go to WSLS.com, click on the menu icon, and click Ask 10. Type your question. We'll get to work on your answer. Ask 10 on WSLS.com. One organization in Lynchburg prepared hundreds of Thanksgiving meals, anticipating a record crowd of those in need. Daily Bread packed 700 servings after handing out more than 500 meals last year. Leaders say the nonprofit is not impacted by nationwide supply chain and inflation issues thanks to all those generous donors. Volunteers spent this morning packing containers with traditional Thanksgiving meals. Lori Allen says this was her first time volunteering, and it meant a lot because she tells us she was once homeless and needed help. I know what it's like to have somebody in the community feeling that need, and if it wasn't for that need, I would have gone hungry. The organization also served more people this year because of recent renovations, including a new serving window to help get more meals out that door. A wonderful holiday surprise tonight for a local family of veterans. We first told you about this Brooknell mom of four Marines on Tuesday. Lynn Tucker has spent the past 16 years fighting to get her son the health care he needs. After a four-wheeling accident left him with a permanent brain injury, she says Ben's condition makes keeping up with hygiene tough. Because of this, he's in need of a new set of teeth that cost $60,000. After years of not taking no for an answer, he is finally getting them. My message is don't give up, which is very hard sometimes because it, it's tiring. But my, my message is to reach out to other people. You know, one, one, one person or one agency may not be the answer for you. His mom says one thing he can do and loves to do is eat. Your local weather authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. 
a quiet evening for us, at least for the next few hours. A live look now to our sky cam overlooking downtown Roanoke. It really was a very pleasant Thanksgiving for us. Couldn't have asked for better weather, but then we head into tomorrow and that is going to be changing significantly. Our temperatures ranging from the upper 40s back towards Lewisburg at 48 degrees, but here in Roanoke, lower 60s, 62 for the moment. You head towards Smith Mountain Lake, 58 and 52 over in Hillsville. Now throughout the next few hours, as we continue to bring in more cloud cover, some of us will see our temperatures dropping a little bit faster than others, but we will be down to the low 50s by 9 p.m. Noticing that rain chance increasing just slightly. It's going to be increasing a little bit more as we head towards say 10, 11, and definitely then into the overnight hours. Now wind speeds overall have not been too bad today. If anything, this afternoon when it's been a little warmer, helping those temperatures to feel better, but we're noticing wind speeds are picking up further towards the west, and that's because of that cold front. So satellite and radar, quite a bit of rain as you look to our west. However, as this continues to track towards the east and into our region, we're going to notice a lot of that rain eventually dissipates, but we are still going to pick up on some of that rain though. So 7 p.m. We are still seeing that really focused towards Greenbrier and Pocahontas County. It's trying to move into the New River Valley, trying to move into Withville, uh, with County, Bland County, even Grayson County, but it's going to be a slow process as we stop the clock right around midnight. There you go. We're finally seeing more of that rain further off towards the east. Lexington, Lynchburg, all the way back towards South Boston, finally picking up on that rain. Nothing too crazy, but we do have that rain, so make sure you're watching out if you are going to be on the roads for this evening. As this pushes off towards the east, things are quiet for a lot of us in the morning, but we will be tracking the potential for some mountain showers for those higher elevations throughout the morning hours tomorrow. So for tonight, our temperatures are down into the 30s and 40s. Not as cold as we have been recently, but still chilly out there. And that rain is going to slow down that cooling process. For many of us, our high temperature is actually going to be around midnight. So throughout the day on Black Friday, temperatures ranging anywhere from the 30s to the low to mid 40s. In fact, we'll be seeing some increasing sunshine, which is going to feel nice. But we are also going to be dealing with those gusty winds. We'll look at that here in just a moment. But there you go, 4 p.m. you're dealing with with the mid 30s back towards the New River Valley, feeling like 26 over towards Hot Springs, 47 for Danville. So a little bit warmer the further east that you live due to the timing of this cold front. As for our wind speeds, they are going to be gusting 30, 35 miles per hour, causing our temperatures to feel colder out the door. So make sure you are bundled up for tomorrow. Seven day forecast warms us up for this weekend, back to the low to mid 50s, a brief cool down on Monday before our highs return to the 50s as we head towards next week week. It's about time to start packing up those leftovers from the Thanksgiving meal, and many of us are enjoying them, but you got to be careful what you give to your furry friends. That's why we're working for you with what dogs can and cannot eat this Thanksgiving. So here's what they can have. Carrots, pumpkin, green beans, sweet potatoes, a small amount of cheese, and turkey, but make sure to take the skin off of it. Here's what they cannot have. Garlic, onions, mashed potatoes, canned cranberry, stuffing, and of course, they cannot have chocolate. All righty, we'll hear from the Flames head coach Hugh Freeze on their final regular season challenge. And next in our region final previews, the Highlanders get ready for the mighty Raiders of Appomattox County. Sports is coming up next. I'm thankful for community, the sheriff's department, people coming together, the delegate to let people know that we care. I'm thankful for the love that is in our community. I believe that we live in the best state and the best country in the world, and I'm proud to be a Virginian and thankful for that. Some news and notes for you, including right here on WSLS 10 and NBC Sports, Bills at the Saints. That is an 8-20 kick. VMI about to put away Central Arkansas at 71-64. They're playing a tournament down in New Orleans. Yeah. All right, that does it for us. NBC Nightly News is next. We will see you back here at 7.